How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born to Dream, back with episode number 9 of the Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe for some more Pokemon content. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you'd like to see previous episodes of the Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, so, here's the team and all the moves I actually did. Uh, level up Levani in between episodes, so uh, I think I don't think I really leveled up for Alligator too much. I think it was just Levani. Um, we got Unpheasant here, we got Thunderous here, we've got Smiling Gee here, and we got our starter Electabuzz here. So let's go ahead, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and take on Lieutenant. Surge. But first, we need cut. I don't know who these cut to. I do not know. I do not know. Apparently, everyone can learn cut. I'll probably teach it to you because you're not gonna learn that great of moves. In all honesty. So uh, let's go ahead and hold up. Let me. I should have done this in between episodes, but we're gonna sell some stuff. So I saw that revive and I'm like, eh, I don't want to hold on to it. We're gonna sell it. Uh, so we're gonna sell... I guess it's just the revive we're selling. Oh no, we're selling this too. There we go. Sell that, and we'll sell the revive. And we are good to go. We are Gucci. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead, cut the tree down. And let's get into this crazy gym. This very, very insane gym. Because it's a very... It's been, it's been seven generations, but I would still say... This is the craziest gym in Pokemon. Like, I can't think of any other gym that's as difficult as this. This gym is, like, literally all about luck. Uh, in terms of the uh, switches, not the trainers, but... Uh, we got a Blaziken here, so let's go ahead and we'll switch into a Pheasant, and let's do it. And yeah, you're not going to do much to me. Not going to do much. Did I have about half health, actually. I don't know, like, I know a lot of people struggle with this puzzle, but like, I don't want to check myself as saying it, but I don't really... As a kid, I didn't really struggle with the puzzle as much, but as an adult... I don't know, it's weird. I think I... Like, I don't remember, like, as a kid, like, the... Like, this puzzle here giving me trouble. Like, I remember... I mean, in my recent playthroughs, it's been kind of a bitch, but... Yeah. And I just realized this is... Okay. I just realized this is Gardevoir, and I'm supposed to be scared of this thing, but... It looks like we got it taken care of. Despite it having Moonblast. Every time we face a Gardevoir in this playthrough, it takes out a Pokemon. It takes out one of my mods. Every single time. Moonblast is nothing to fuck with. Fuck around with, man. Alright, so we're starting the upset out like this. First gen, man. It's it's nuts. I want to fight all these trainers before I put the Levani back in the PC because I, I don't really have a substitute for it. We found Bruno. Okay. Skarmory looks interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go into Thunderous. You can go for agility. Okay. Please don't crit. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I really don't have anything to replace Levani with. You have a Metapod too. Crazy. 
You actually have a metabot. That I'm gonna one shot. Okay. <laughs> Cherum two. All right, this team is easy as shit. We just take it out in one hit. Yep. Good. All right, Bruno was defeated. Fried. Okay. Um, so I think we faced every single Elite Four member except for Lance. <laughs> so that will be a sight. That will definitely be a sight. Whenever we see Lance in this, that will be something else. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict co. When you were in the army, you're a fucking pokey doll, dude. <laughs> you don't look like you were ever in the army, my dude. Volibee? Alright, this is too easy. Too easy. And Bird Keeper was defeated. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just put Lee Vanny in the death box, whatever. Oh, wait. You know what? Hold on, I, I don't have a replacement for Levani right now, and I don't want to teach anything else cut. So I'm going to keep it in the party for right now. All it's going to do is it's going to be... Well, I need cut for other spots, too. Do I have... This will make this whole thing easier. Do I have something in here that I'm going to cut? We'll just put it, we'll just put it in the death box. Put it in box 12. Alright. Whoops. So you are in the death box. I guess a sorta of nice thing about first gen is when you put them on in the box, it they won't be healed. So, um that's Chandelure, Spupa, Doat, and Weasel. I do what. Duat's just gonna be a cut slave. So that's all I'm gonna use him for right now. I'm sure, yeah, you definitely learn it. Okay. But, I mean, the nice thing about first gen is, like, uh, when you put a Pokemon in the PC, they don't get healed, so it'll show the Pokemon is fainted. So, like, like, for a Nuzlocke, it's kinda nice because there's no chance of forgetting. I guess if you withdraw a fainted Pokemon from the PC, like you can't use that Pokemon. There's there's not much room for mistakes, is what I mean. But let's go ahead and spend 30 minutes doing this. <laughs> Alright. Nothing but trash. Nothing but trash. That's all there is. Nothing but trash. Just trash. Bunch of trash everywhere. They are trash cans, so it's kind of expected. But I mean, are we literally gonna get to the last one? We're gonna get to the last one. Okay. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. So let's turn it over here. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't. I've seen people like really struggle with this, like really struggle with this, and I just seem to figure it out just like that. I don't, I don't really have any tricks. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, if I ever do a versus with someone in first gen, that's kind of be kind of nice if uh, I if uh, it worked out that way for me. But let's go ahead and take on Lieutenant Surge. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into par paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is the first, okay. This isn't Champion Blue, and he actually has a Raichu. That's pretty hilarious. That's pretty funny that you would actually have a Raichu. That's pretty funny. I'm really weak to electric types. Like, really weak. I don't have an encounter to an electric type. 
If I still have my Krukorok, man. If I still have my Krukorok. Oh well. Low Kick is just OP in this game, apparently. Oh my goodness. I just fucking obliterated that Raichu. Shockwave. Sure, why not? I prefer Thunderbolt, but... In case I ever get, like, you know, sand attack spammed or whatever, it works. Uh, let's go into... I wonder if Ralts will have fucking Moonblast. That'd be crazy, right? Nah, I won't have Moonblast. I'm sure of it. Let's go for the bite. Wait, it's a fairy type. But I still took it out. Wow, okay. Um, Ambient Bomb. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. That's, uh... Again, if this wasn't in black and white, I think it would look cooler. You actually have Thunderbolt on this thing. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. We managed to beat him, though. Awesome. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then. Take the Thunder Badge. 840 was rewarded. Damn it. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets you fly your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. TM24. TM24 contains Thunderbolt. It does not. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. That'd be the logical choice, right? Um, let's see what TM24 actually is. Jump kick. I don't have any fighting types. Jump kick's kind of risk. It's kind of risky in the Nuzlocke. But then again, I think first gen they don't take that much damage when they um, when you miss jump kick, right? They only, I think you only take a little bit of damage. So unless you're almost about to faint, anyways, I don't think it does half health in first gen. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Hmm. Well, anyways, we're going to go ahead and head over to uh, the Rock Tunnel. And uh, in case you guys were wondering, I'm not getting Flash. Because I know it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I have the Rock Tunnel down. Down packed. Just watch me. You guys will either be like really impressed or it's going to be like this is going to be like a 50 minute video because I can't get out of rock zone. <laughs> but we're doing it. We're daredevils here, man. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care if it takes 50 minutes to get through rock tunnel just because we're being stupid. Um so let's go let's go to the right here. So, I think my town map. I think I get two encounters. Maybe? Yeah, I get two encounters. Wait, three encounters. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and cut this tree. And, uh, take these trainers on. Do this. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Alright, so. I think there's a decent number of trainers on this route, too. But I guess I guess it's an okay point sprite, considering this is a uh, first gen. It's alright. It's not how Spoink would actually look, though. Holy on. I gotta check uh, Pokeballs too before I jump into this. Definitely need to check Pokeballs. And Thunderous is gaining levels. I love it. Sand Slash. Um, let's go into Feraligator. Let's go into Feraligator. And we'll go for the Water Gun. Awesome. Alright. Metapod again. Are you serious? Get out of here with this shit, man. Get out with this shit, man. 
So I think I didn't catch Lieutenant Surge's levels uh, just now because he was kind. Of, wait, he had a level 24 Ambi Pomp. I might be slightly over leveled. I might be slightly over leveled. Um, but that will even out pretty soon because Mega Punch. Ooh. Hmm. We'll hold on to that. Um, that will smooth out pretty soon because uh, the level gaps of first gen are kind of crazy. Kind of crazy when you consider it a uh, main series game. The first main series game. Um, the fact that like the Elite Four has like level 60s mons. It's kind of crazy. So they the levels really do jump in this in this uh, in this gen. So it's not much to worry about. Slack off. Uh, yo, getting a slack off would not be bad. Not be bad at all. Cause slacking is broken in first gen. Broken. So not, I would not mind a slocking. Lunatone, okay. Fight it. Okay, let's go for the water gun. Should have gone for the water gun in the first place because it's stabbed, but... Well. Lorelei was defeated! What? What? That can't be. 14 Pokeball, should I do it? I mean, if it's a legendary, I'm just gonna Master Ball it, so fuck it, let's do it. Although I probably will need more Pokeballs after this encounter, but our first counter is... I'm not mad about this at all. I Oh, I have um, Haunter, but... This actually isn't bad. At the same time, okay. I I figured Muck would eat that because Muck is a pretty bulky Pokemon. So, oh no. I figured I figured that Muck would eat that because Muck is a very very bulky Pokemon. So, pardon. Ooh. That opens up an opportunity there, but I want to go for the Thunder Wave. And go for another Pokeball. Hmm. It's gonna poison all of my Pokemon. This is not cool, man. This is so not cool. Got it. Muck was caught. The Dragon Pokemon, a mythical Pokemon that exudes. A gentle aura has the ability to change climate conditions. That is that last part was true. Well, Muck can change conditions, he can't change the weather. So it's halfway true. But um what we're gonna call this muck is um is this check it. Greatest muck nickname ever. Buck. Muck, or Buck the Muck. Buck the Muck. That sounds like a verb. You can go buck your muck. Don't say that around the kids. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, go back and heal. I'm gonna go get some Pokeballs too. We'll do that as my Pokemon slowly dies. Slowly dies. And, uh, just go ahead and grab some Pokeballs. Grab some Pokeballs real quick. Let's go for 20. 20? 20. We're doing 20. I was having second thoughts, but we're doing 20. We're gonna do 20, so let's go. Um, so I'm not 
sure where Route 10 is. Like, I mean, I, I know where Route 10 is, but I don't know if I can get an encounter in Route 10. I think... I think if Fire Red and like, Leaf Green, Route 10 is the route that leads into Rock Tunnel. But in this game, it kind of shows it like you go to Route 9 and then you go to Rock, Rock Tunnel. But there's that patch of grass above Rock Tunnel, which I think is a part of Route 10. And I'm going to have to check that out when I get to that part. Uh, because I feel like, I just feel like that's not Route 9, but whatever. Go, my super bug Pokemon! My super duper awesomely amazing bug Pokemon. I'm going to miss when we stop seeing Lorelei. Cause she has been giving me money in this in this let's play. She has been giving me so much money, but she's not going to be around forever because bug bug catchers usually are just in the beginning part of the game. So they're not they're normally not um, in like the end of the game. So we got a Crobat. Ooh, ooh. I don't think I've seen Crobat yet. Oh. Alright, um, <laughs> let's go for the shockwave. Crobat has pretty decent special defense, so. Okay, I got taken out. Alrighty then. Lorelai was defeated. My bugs! My bugs, my bugs. Alright, I'm hoping I can avoid this dude down here. Please, please, please. Yes, alright. Now. Is this Route 10? I, I'm not trying to use a Pokeball. I'm trying to look at the map. This is Route 10. Okay, that's what I thought. Awesome. So this is Route 10. So we can go ahead and get an encounter here too. So let's see where our first encounter is. Our first encounter is a... I still feel like, I still, still, I know you guys are think I'm crazy for this, I still feel like Jirachi isn't Master Ball worthy, but Jirachi is so close, but the thing you guys have to remember is Serene Grace is not in this game, so that's what makes Jirachi Jirachi, right? So. But it's still a really fucking good Pokemon. It's like, it's right there. Right there. If, if I were to try and catch this with a Pokeball, no. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use it. It's done. We caught Jirachi. If I see Arce if I see an Arceus in this let's play, and after I caught this Jirachi, I'll be kind of pissed. But we caught Jirachi, so um, we are gonna call this. What are we gonna call Jirachi? Jirachi, Jirachi, Jirachi. Uh, we'll call it. Um, we'll call it. call it bright. I guess that works. Bright the Jirachi. I'm gonna change this nickname. I'm probably gonna change that nickname, but we'll call it Bright for now because it's a star. Um, for shits and giggles. Let's see. Oh my god, a Chingling. That was level 16. I would have liked a level 16 Jirachi, but Piplup's in here. Piplup again. It's not bad. Okay. Right on's in here. Piplup again. Piplup is definitely the common. I think we got the rare. 
But we actually have a uh, Jirachi, so... Wow. Um... So, I think with that... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. In the next episode, we will go ahead and venture through Rock Tunnel. And we will probably get lost. So, I will see you guys then. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.